Now, Rayman's a legend who didn't really see any sort of attention until I would say mid-2021 when Pro Series came around for the second time. There, we saw Snowy really start playing Rayman. Now, I, I don't remember if he played Rayman before then, but that was when like, oh, okay, Snowy's not necessarily like a, a Zol main, he's a Rayman player. And so I remember, uh, I remember him playing that and you know, in the end, Northeast did end up winning. Snowy was doing insanely well for his team. Not, you know, not saying um, it was all a one man effort, but recently in Winter Championship, we saw Snowy and Godly both have wins with Rayman in their, uh, in their respective region. Now, to be fair, Snowy, was the only one to really, I think, play nothing but Rayman. Godly did play like Mordex. He did have some other picks. Um, and, you know, Mordex being one of them is also really, really insane to see. But I think uh, I just wanted to take a video and just talk about Rayman as a character and how he fits into this meta because this character was never seen to be really, really good. He was always like, okay, the SIGs are awkward, right? There's better gauntlet characters. Um, you know, if you really like Axe and Gauntlets, like, he's there, right? You can play him. But then it turned into just with how the meta panned out and stuff. Gauntlets were really good. And now Gauntlets still are pretty good. But Axe in particular is insanely good. And also Rayman has received some ridiculous buffs. And even like this D-Sig, I'm pretty sure has seen nerfs. But not like it really matters because the thing still is absolutely insane, right? The utility is crazy. And that's kind of the story of Rayman. A lot of the times people are taking minus one dex from him. And it's like, dude, taking that one dex away from Rayman is, you know, it doesn't matter for either of the weapons. On Gauntlets, you're not missing out on anything. On Axe, you're not missing out on anything. And you're gaining a speed, which is insane because now he's a seven speed legend. And high speed, most of the time, high speed just going to be um, a good play, especially when you're playing like a string weapon like gauntlets or uh you know you're just trying to really do some like drifting sairs or stuff like that on axe um it just goes back to the word i was saying which is evasive and speaking of evasive when you look at other sigs right like this side sig for example it's re dude this side sig i think i underestimated it so much i mean you can gravity cancel you can just straight up use it sliding off platforms like it doesn't matter but as soon as you stop using it like you're in the clear and it's so so good um i think that's something that i personally am just like i don't know i don't i don't always know when i'm learning a, a character um i don't necessarily know where to place the sigs all the time but with this one it doesn't really feel about placement it feels like just trial and error like okay let me see how they react to this let me see how they react to that or let me just see if I use it in neutral, how are they gonna, you know, just straight in front of them, what exactly are they gonna do? And a lot of the times people will end up avoiding it at least the first time, but it's so hard to punish that it doesn't even matter, right? Like you're not, it's not gonna be the end of the world if that happens. Also, huge fan of that SIG. Um, I mean, the ledge guarding capabilities of it is just absolutely ridiculous. I want to pivot back to the meta discussion though with Rayman, because right now, when you look at the weapons, Axe, right, generally Axe is considered to be one of like the top weapons in this meta because it's easy, it has kill power, and uh, the damage you can get off of it is really, really good. You know, you can work off of it easy, etc., etc. But then there's Gauntlets. Now, Gauntlets themselves, I really don't think Gauntlets are like super meta. It's just that I've always said, and I still kind of hold by this, um, maybe a little less than before, but I do think that gauntlets are an insane counter to the things that are good when you're looking at hammer, when you're looking at axe. So having this pairing is really nice because not only are you carrying a meta weapon, right? You're also carrying, you're also carrying the weapon that counters the meta. So that's just, that's just super, super nice. Um, and I think it like, it just allows for a lot of options, a lot of counterplay opportunities, which is, you know, I think that's just really, really nice. The SIGs, when it comes to the gauntlets, meh, you know, they're, they exist. And I think like, if you can really just like learn how to time them like that, like they hit super hard. Uh, like I can't, you know, I can't like argue that, I guess. But um, sometimes it just feels like the purpose of a lot of the SIGs on Rayman are bait and when you watch Snowy, uh, I, I won't say Godly because I didn't necessarily see too much of his gameplay. Snowy doesn't use a lot of like the signatures. He, a lot of the time, will end up using maybe like a side sig or he'll find a spot to maybe try and like bait something out and like throw out uh, one of the gauntlet sigs. 
but usually he's just relying on um, the evasiveness of Rayman and just like the movement speed that he has and just like drifting around and like wacky gravity cancels and stuff that he does. Uh, also, Rayman, another thing that I think this character does oh so well is with weapon throws. Uh, love him or hate him, most people probably really hate him. Weapon throws with Rayman, it's just like, I don't even know. Uh, like, Axe is so big that given that weapon throws are as good as they are, having that big hitbox is always going to be very, very nice. And then, um, oh wait, they are just, wait, uh, yeah, they're just gone. But with the weapon throws, yeah, Axe is big. And also, like, if you can bait out a dodge, you're going to get, like, an easy side light nair, which is around 30 damage, I believe. Or on gauntlets, like, if you hit them, then you can also catch them in a string there. But circling back to what I kind of started the video out with, Rayman is a character that even if Axe were to kind of like fall off a bit, I still think this character is going to be um, a really good option for someone who's looking to play evasively, who's looking for like strong kill options, and also someone who does want to have like gauntlets for that stringing potential, and just a character with really solid stats. I think that's what it comes down to. Um, with Rayman a lot of the times is like the stats the stats are I don't want to say they're hard to beat because there are a lot of characters right you can look at even Taros um, the stats are nice but he just works well in this meta that's really what should be said and I wouldn't be surprised if we see this character more in just like the top play uh, like just with with top players and stuff right because if you look at eu axe has always been doing really good and na i think especially now with you know the the meta discussion that we've had i think that um i think that axe is pretty potent there as well and it's very visible in competitive play so it wouldn't be surprising to see more Raymans pop up in ones. In twos, I think the character already was seeing some, maybe not as much. I still think like Snowy and Godly were really the only ones that I recall um, playing it. But yeah, like someone like me, I think it's a really good option if I wanted to play a meta character. And that's why I think more than likely I'm having him as a pick for Omen Oasis now. To be fair, I still haven't figured out exactly where I want him because he might just replace what I like Onyx doing. And right now, what Onyx does, Onyx is basically a pick for when I don't feel comfortable using Mordex. So it's kind of a judgment call. Um, is Rayman better? Maybe in some regards, but also like I do like the really high defense of Onyx. So we'll see. Time will tell. I'll figure something out. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you around. Peace, guys.